I'm Greg King, the Product Manager for Fullstack DR. The first thing you do after creating and associating DR protection groups is to tell Fullstack DR about the OCI components that you created and deployed for DR. You add whatever storage, compute, and databases you've created to the protection groups. We call these OCI resources members. Remember that everything you see here can be automated with Terraform. Let's take a quick look at what we're trying to accomplish. Let's assume you've created compute instances for warm standby DR where your virtual machines are running in both the primary and standby regions all the time. I'm also going to assume you have a couple databases already set up with DataGuard, enabled through normal OCI database services. There's no particular reason I'm showing autonomous databases, other than I can deploy them quickly for these demos. And there's no reason to replicate the storage containing boot or block since the VMs at the region on the left side will never run at the region on the right side, and the VMs on the right will never run on the left. You will add non-movable compute to the protection groups in both regions. As I mentioned, there is no replicated storage to manage for the VMs. I'll add the primary databases to the primary protection group and the standby databases to the standby protection group. I'll begin with the protection group in Phoenix since it currently has the role of primary. Select members. Select add member. Choose compute as the resource you're adding. Select the first virtual machine that is part of your business system. Uncheck this to make the virtual machine non-movable compute. And finally, add the compute as a member. Repeat this as many times as you need to add all of your VMs for your business system. Now let's add the two primary databases. Select Add Member again, and then choose Autonomous Database. You can also choose Database for XSCS and Base DB, formerly known as uh, DBCS. Select the database that you deployed, and then choose Add. Repeat this if you have more than one database as part of your business system. I've added two. That's all we need to do in order to add members to the primary protection group for non-movable compute. Now we switch regions to Ashburn to add members to the associated protection group there. Select the associated protection group, which you can see has the standby role. Then I simply repeat the entire process again until I have all the compute and standby databases added as members to the standby protection group like you see here. And remember, all of the steps I just showed you can be automated with Terraform. That's it. It's that simple. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.